In this video, we're going to show you how to create a beautiful chart background like this, a gradient mixing two colors like this light blue up here and this simple white down here and just blending them together to create a chart that is really easy to look at. So to get started, right click, go down to your settings and click. Now what you'll see here is a number of ways to customize your chart, including the symbol, status line, scales, appearance, trading, and events. But we're going to focus on appearance for now. That is where you can create your chart background and customize things like your grid lines as well as your scale lines and scale text. So check this out. Background. We have two options. We can select a solid color. We can select a gradient. Now when you select either of these, there's a color button right here that you can click and then quickly decide on the color you want for your chart background. As you can see, we are just pointing and clicking and changing our, our background instantly. Now let's say we go and select gradient. This is our new feature. Now you have two color options to choose from. The first color represents the color on the top of the chart. So if we select red, as you notice, we now have a red on the top that blends in with a white on the bottom and we create this red and white gradient. Let's go back to settings and now let's change the bottom color. Let's say we go to orange. We almost want to create some sort of desert sunset feel. Now we have orange on the bottom blending with the red on the top to create this gradient. Obviously the customizations are up to you and you can have a ton of fun with this. For us, for this demo, let's keep it clean and simple. Let's do a blue on top and a white on the bottom. Let's make it really easy to see. So that's how you create your chart background with either a solid color or a gradient. Now what we'll do is quickly go through some other customizations in the appearance menu so that you know how to make the most beautiful chart for your trading or investing needs. So vertical grid lines and horizontal grid lines. What are those? Watch this as we make them more evident. You can see vertical grid lines. They're appearing here. They are the grid lines that are going up and down on your chart. Horizontal grid lines. Watch what happens as we make them easier to see as well. They are the grid lines that are going side to side, left to right on your chart. Now, of course, we have two colors up here that aren't ideal. Why don't we change them both to black for now, just to make it easier to understand what these lines are. Our vertical and horizontal grid lines right now are fully there. They are black. They are going up and down and side to side. But we can easily change the color of these the same way we change the color of our gradient or normal background. You click the color box and then select the color that you're interested in. You can also make these grid lines not appear at all. Here's opacity at the very bottom. Watch what happens as we drag this scale from 100% to 0%. As you can see, the grid line is slowly dis disappearing. At 0%, it's gone. At 100%, it's showing completely. So we'll just zip back and forth and watch these red lines. So that's how you can quickly hide the vertical or horizontal grid lines. And you can do that if you want to make a chart that is just as simple as this. But of course, if you want your vertical or, or horizontal grid lines, there are tons of customizations that you can use to make the chart work for you. So much so that you can also create your vertical or horizontal grid lines as dash lines, regular lines, or dotted lines. Let's go over a few more quick things in this menu and then we'll wrap up this video. So we showed you how to control your vertical grid lines, your horizontal grid lines, as well as your chart background, creating it with a solid color or creating it with a gradient. But what else can you do? Well, you can control your scales text. That's another way to make a really good looking chart. So your scales text is over here. See our mouse on the right? 
it's also the numbers at the bottom. This is what makes your chart easy to see. It's the numbers, it's the dates, it's the X and Y axis that you look at to make connections between either price or an event and specific periods in time. So scales text right now is set to black. Let's say we want it to be red and let's say we want the font to be a little bigger. We can click 14 and as you can see the font size is now larger. You can go all the way up to 40 if you want. Of course that might just be a little too much text on the chart and it shrinks it somewhat. So let's go back to 12 which seems to be a good number for the scales text. So our scales text font size is 12 and we're going to make the color let's keep it at black for now. Additionally, your scales lines. These are the lines that run up and down the scales on the X and Y axis, and you control that. You can control that color. So watch what happens to these lines as we go through the color wheel. As you can see, it's changing colors. So you can also control this line to create a chart that works for you. And in this example, we will just do a really light blue. So as you can see, this light blue is now running along the bottom of the chart as well as alongside it up and down. Let's go back to the appearance to run through a few more options you have that are important to tell you about in this video. Watermark. If you turn on your watermark, which you can also adjust the color of, you will see the name of the asset that you're looking at. So if you share this with friends, this makes it really obvious to them. So we have a simple chart of GDP, gross domestic product. It's now really obvious because we enabled the watermark by going to settings, appearance, and then checking this box. Of course, we could even make it more apparent by doing something like this, changing the color and then upping its opacity to 100%. Look at that. For now, let's keep it like this because we're trying to make a chart that's really obvious, that we're going to share, that everyone knows instantly what it is. Let's go back to settings to just point out a few more interesting things that are worth noting. You can change your margin percentages, top and bottom margin, as well as the right margin. You can also adjust your navigation buttons and your pane buttons. You can do always visible, only on a mouse, roll over so when your mouse rolls over these navigational buttons will it show or you can do always invisible and they will hide additionally you can change your crosshair so the crosshair see our chart here right now there are dotted lines like gray following our mouse do you see that wherever we go those crosshairs go well you can change the appearance of those crosshairs just from right here so for example let's go to a regular line and let's make our crosshairs red for now so it's really like a like a specific crosshair that you can't miss there it is the red crosshair that is following our mouse as we move our mouse the crosshairs go with it so that is the appearance settings for your chart it is how you can create a solid background or a gradient background it's how you can control your vertical grid lines and your horizontal grid lines it's also how you can control your scales text so the text on the side of your chart and the text that runs along the bottom of it and there are other really cool things that you control that you can control that range from the watermark to the crosshair to your margins and to your navigational buttons so we appreciate you watching this video and we hope that you get started with gradient charts we also hope that you have fun mixing and matching different colors and finding a chart that works for you for example maybe it's the early morning and you want to wake up to more of a sunset chart so this is your morning chart and then at nighttime you want to perhaps tone it down a little make it a little darker because now the sun's gone down and the moon is up this is your nighttime chart the point we're trying to make is that you can have a lot of fun with this by making charts that fit your mood that fit the time of day or maybe that just fit your general audience and what they want to see you can also create and customize charts that potentially no other trader is using hey maybe that's your edge you're going to create a chart that is so unique you're the only one who's looking at it in that way
So we appreciate you watching this video. Please leave your questions and comments below. Our team is watching and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'll try to help you out. And yeah, get started with this new chart gradient feature and go have some fun. Make the most beautiful charts out there or just create the best looking charts that work for you. Thanks for watching.